top upside down. I got it situated so that the front is with the front of the frame. So what I'm going to do now is I've got all the screws in that were there when I purchased the table, took it apart to rebuild it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to measure up to make sure that we're pretty close here with the, the edges. So we're here with the door front. This is going to be the actual front side. I'm going to go ahead and start sanding this down. I'm just going to sand it up to maybe about uh, 120. And I'm going to trim it to size and get it to fit the front of this drawer. This, this piece right here is coming on. I'm going to get that set on the front of there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the back unsanded. That uh, way there the glue will have a little bit better bond, uh, bonding power. Uh, it's also going to be screwed in from the back. I'll go ahead and slide the drawer in. It does have a little dust in it from sitting around. So then what I'm going to do is, I've got the, the drawer front, which as you can see is a continuation of the tabletop. So what that's going to do is we're going to drop it down over so that when the drawer is closed, it looks like the tabletop kind of flows down over, almost like a waterfall.
so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to drill the handle holes out just a little bit bigger because I ran, ran into yet another hiccup with this project. I tried to I tried to uh, I tried to screw through the smaller drill holes and I cracked the epoxy. This is already glued underneath. The glue is pretty fresh, so it will hold. I'm going to go ahead and sell it as is, and whoever the buyer is, I'll just let them know that uh, the epoxy has a little bit of a crack in it, um, but it's glued. Okay, so there's the finished table. We've got got the drawer in, got the drawer front on. Yeah, you can see the crack a little bit, like I was talking about, but it doesn't really show up. I used a different handle. You can also see what I was talking about before, how the, the epoxy comes down over, stays with, like the flow of the epoxy stays with the drawer front. Also, this piece of spalting right here in softer wood that I stabilized with the epoxy, this also stays with the, the, the grain runs together, I guess uh, you call it grain continuity. Um, so this project is finished. Um, like I said, it's been entirely too long, but we've got it together, and um, we're going to go ahead and put it up in the shop. That'll conclude this video, and also conclude the the build project itself. Since the last video, we've picked up a couple of new subscribers. I say it every video, and I mean it every video. I'm very thankful for the people that subscribe. It helps the channel out, it helps my family out, and it also lets me know that people are interested in the, the videos that I'm putting out there. So that's really decent. Thank you for the, the subscriptions that I have, and uh, if, you, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, go ahead and subscribe and follow some of our build videos. <coughs> I also have lumber milling videos, and every once in a while I do a little bit of talking about the Bible and faith and stuff. If you have any questions about this video, go ahead and leave a question in the comments section below, or if you just want to leave a comment about the, the video itself or the project itself, feel free to do that. Hit the thumbs up button. If you do subscribe, hit the little notification bell. That'll let you know when I upload a new video. When I first started the channel, I was uploading a lot of videos. It's gotten to where I can only upload once every couple of weeks to a month. And that's because I'm just so busy with my other job and also with the store and the shop. So there's just a lot going on. Once again, thank you everybody for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Until we see each other again, everybody stay safe.